Welcome to Musher's Tales. Going on a dog sled with the A-Team. Uh, might be the real A-Team now. I'm trying to, uh, I got the B-Team dialed down pretty good. I had a run yesterday and I think I got my B-Team. It's a pretty good B-Team. Thing is I have uh, seven dogs left. So instead of a team of six, I think I'll have a team of seven. Uh, the problem with the team of seven is, uh, well, the dog's a little bit further and my dog box is for six. So either I have to double up dogs or I'll throw one in the cab of the truck. So there's that. And also between now and hookup time, I have to decide if my leader will be single lead or double lead. The, uh, the thing about single lead, it's a lot of pressure on the dog. I just think, I mean, you're, you're in front and six dogs are chasing you. That's what it is. Uh, if you're a double lead, well, they're not all chasing you, you're all running together. So I haven't really decided yet. You know, it's more an aesthetic thing. Uh, single lead looks better than double lead. You know, but if you have double lead and you just throw a, a, a single dog behind, and then you pair up, well, you're fine too. So uh, anyways, I have about 20 minutes to think that over. So come along for the ride. My uh, wife's gonna be on a snowmobile. We've got the Bravo loaded on the trailer and uh, she likes to walk as I sled. So she's gonna drag a pallet behind a snowmobile which grooms the trail and makes it easier for her to walk. So she'll be doing that. So that's, uh, that's our morning. See you there. Got my gloves, change hat for something a little warmer. Now this should be interesting because uh, Linus is coming. He thinks he's not coming because the dogs know the pattern. And uh, so I'm gonna put him in the car. Don't know if he's ever been in the car. Oop, be better if I show you, eh, dog? Oh, trying to hold the GoPro. Oh, the camera woman's here. 
And we'll see what happens. Trail groomer gone. Time to hook up the hounds. So I decided to go uh, double lead. I got Linus out of the truck uh, after getting everything load, loaded. Uh, I'm gonna go have a look at the truck, make sure everything's good. good uh, remember, it doesn't take long for a dog like that to make a mess. I remember uh, going to a dog sled race and there was this dog running loose in the parking lot. So uh, somebody just grabbed the dog and threw it in the car. The car was unlocked and they just threw it in the car because the dog was going to take off. Holy smoke, the dog just, like, an, you know, I'm not the one that threw the dog in there. The, uh, the dog just started tearing apart the seat, uh, chewed the seat belt, thun, thun, two, three chomps, chewed the seat belt right in two, started on the roof. It was destroying that dog. And guy ran in trying to find the owner of the dog or the owner of the car, but holy smoke, did that dog ever destroy a lot of things and in seconds, just in seconds. So everything looks good and no mess. That's good. We'll take that win. So this is a plan. I got a double lead and I got a single. And this is where the plan gets weak. Because these two right here, they get tangled. Uh, I should be putting, hey! I should be putting uh, one in the back. I should be putting a crazy boy in the back there. Crazy rigs. But uh, the thing is, if I put rigs in the back, he's always, uh, it's Chester. Chester's on a dog and Chester wants a pound of it. The only one that Chester doesn't mess with is Nash. So, uh, the weakness of the plan is if all of a sudden this part here lets go, I got these three dogs gone and I don't really have a leader. The guys in back will get me going, but the guys in front will tangle up. So, uh, but the, my leader should not take off if it, you know, they should listen. Anyways, we're going to see what happens. So, uh, I'll turn you back on on the trail because, uh, not time to do it now. So we're on the trail. Takes off uh, was crazy. Not crazy, crazy. I've seen much worse, but... The uh, rig's not in the usual spot, so he was whining and harness banging and everything. So uh, I think next time I'm going to put him beside Chester. And when he gets up, Chester's going to pound him and he'll do my discipline for me. And uh, we're going really well now that we're going. But it just takes one dog yipping and going crazy that uh, everybody goes crazy and uh, nobody listens. You're always one dog barking away from a mutiny. Beautiful day, but uh, colder than I thought. 
Okay, picking up some speed here, gotta hang on. Whoa, somehow Nash just got unhooked. That's a problem. That's a problem. So somehow we kicked the snap or something. Now the problem is stopping the dogs to hook them up. But I'll be honest with you, I'm going fast enough there that uh, I do not need its power. So uh, we'll go like this for a while. If we go up a hill, I'll hook them up. That'll be about three kilometers from now or something. So so we'll slow down a bit too because they're still uh, revved up. Everybody's hooked up again. Uh, Riggs, team's going good. Riggs can't go there anymore. He doesn't, uh, like I you know, I tried to stop the team and he's the guy pulling the team forward. If he's closer, well, he's not pulling, he's just pulling the sled. I can stop him easier instead of him pumping up the other dogs. So uh, next time he's going beside Chester and then Chester can calm him down because uh, he's the only problem right now. And the problem is when the dogs take off, if you're in front of the sled, if the sled hits you, well, you can get really hurt. And getting hurt out here right now, let's say I break a leg or something, well, I got a problem. Well, I don't know. I have my wife here. She'll come and find me, but I mean... If I didn't, let's say I'm on a little expedition there, uh, 20 or 25 kilometers in, in the woods, well, no, no, uh, no tolerance for that, so. But he pulls. It's on the nippy side. Uh, six dogs, seven dogs. You knock out. I'm not going any faster with seven. I just get maybe go a little further. But uh, no real advantage except uh, all the dogs are running every second day. So it's either a six dog A team or a seven dog A team. And my B team, I think, uh, is what I had yesterday. Obviously didn't film. Okay, ball pass child, this is for you. Right! <sighs> Yesterday with the V team, I had a few problems with the rights again. That's Siberian and Crosby. So Safira and Crosby, they, uh, they, they kind of slow down. But these guys here, they're, uh, they're better leaders. That's why they're on the A team. Snowmobile uh, and the pallet is really making a very nice groomed trail. I almost didn't go in to get my gloves. I said, ah, oh, it's not that cold. That would, would have been a mistake. Um, my mouth is all frozen. I shaved a lot of my beard. I trimmed my beard after Christmas and that was a mistake. <laughs> my face is frozen.
Going to film the ending now, even though I'm not even near the end, because uh, in case the batteries die out. So, uh, thanks for watching. Till the next time.